Look at this bird in our driveway. What is that? You see it, babe? Yeah. You see it? How are we gonna get it out of the way? How are we gonna get it out of the way? Yeah. I have no idea. What kind of bird is that? I wish my camera zoomed more, but this is all zooms. What is that? Oh, there it goes. I wish that was white in, in my driveway. That bird was in your driveway. Sully saw it. I heard Sully bark and not even bark. He like growled like. Whoop. So I like came to see because he never barks and he's looking out the window and it was at that bird. But anyways, <clears throat> hello. Good afternoon. Welcome back to a new vlog. Today is Saturday, July 11th. Good boy letting me know. Good boy letting me know. Letting me know that something was out there, huh? Sully saw. Did I say the date? <laughs> I think I just said it, but I can't remember. Hey, be nice. Saturday, July 11th, five days before my birthday. My birthday is July 16th. And, 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 and it was Daddy's birthday. It was just Daddy's birthday. Guess what? Now it's gonna be mine in a couple days. I'm gonna. How old is Mommy gonna be? Levi, <clears throat> Levi Van, how old is mommy gonna be on her birthday? Anyhow, my birthday is next Thursday, or this Thursday, the 16th, and I will be turning. You know it was my birthday? Yeah, it was your birthday in April. It, when's your birthday? Everyone comes to my party and I did party. Yeah, everyone came to your party. Look how cute he looks in this outfit. Look at this little button-up sh shirt. When's your birthday? April what? Everyone's from here and I'm going to be on the wheel wheeler. <laughs> He's talking about his birthday party when he was on the four wheeler. Anyhow, I'll be turning and 20. Ben was running and Gigi was. Ben and Gigi were running. I'll be turning 24, which I'm not really excited about or stoked about. I guess it just feels like another year once you become a parent. like. If I wasn't a mom, I'd probably be celebrating and drinking and partying, but once you become a mom, you really, that really kind of ends, um, especially when you're pregnant. But yeah, I'll be 24 years or going to Target. I have to go to the bank, put some money in my account so I can pay a bill online. I want the toy after your groceries. He wants to get a toy after my groceries. You're going to hear him say that a lot. You've probably already heard him say that a lot. But he thinks that after means before. But he always says after, but in his mind it means before. After I get my groceries. So I'm gonna get my groceries first. No! See, yeah, he doesn't know the difference between before and after. All of these are closed for some reason. And there's a bunch of cars in the ATM line. So, we're waiting in line momentarily. My gas light's on, so that's not good. gas is running out. I was going to get gas first, but I don't know. I wanted to get this money in there first. Why are all those, why are the drive through lines closed? Not that I wanted to use those ones, but I would have. This person that's up there is taking forever. I'm trying not to judge, I guess, because I don't know. They could be having difficulties. Looks like their window doesn't work, so they have to open their door. <laughs> They're taking forever and there's still two cars ahead of me. Anyhow, I just have to deposit this money so I can pay the bill on Lime. I pay like... Your dog's out of line. My car's out of line? Every bill on Lime. Every single bill. You want yeah, to I don't... get some gas? I gotta get some gas. We pay all our bills on Lime. I just feel like that's easiest. And I don't like going places or going in places. So I have to deposit that money. And then I also got a check from the city that I just lived in, the city of whatever am I gonna say, where I lived. My refund deposit, I'm guessing, for my water bill. So it's only 25 bucks, but I'm getting 25 bucks back. So I'm gonna cash that as well. And then we got, he wants to wear his mask so bad for some reason. I got him a mask just because now in my county, masks are mandatory in all businesses. And there's a bunch of other rules and whatever, 
literally whatever, but I guess if you're like under 10, you don't have to wear a mask. <clears throat> But he wants it on and it's so funny and I like I don't like putting it on him because I feel like bad seeing my little three-year-old covered up in a mask I don't know I feel like terrible but I got my mask here because I have to wear it in the store now it's mandatory which I don't know if you guys saw me at the beginning of the virus I was like nuts like I didn't even leave the house for two and a half months I didn't go to a grocery store I had all my groceries delivered like I literally did not leave the house for two to three, two and a half months, I think. And now I'm like, I'm still like very like wash my hands, sanitize the whole time I'm in the store. Like if Levi touches anything, we sanitize. We sanitize like four times while we're shopping in the store. I just like, I don't know about the mask. I just like, I'm not on board, but just gonna follow the law because I don't have the money to pay fines so can't breathe? No. Then don't wear it, buddy. Put it in my purse. Where did we just leave? Starbucks. Yeah, we're leaving Starbucks. We went to Target, got our groceries, got a few grocery items. That's what did I go there for? A few grocery items and for Swiffer wet jet fluid because mine ran out and I'm like dying to like deep clean the house and I don't want to do that until I got my Swiffer wet jet fluid. Blech. And then I also got a different fish food because our new little fish, he's not eating the food that we got. So I don't know, we're gonna try something different um, and see if he eats that. So then Levi wanted to go to Starbucks and the line at the Starbucks inside of Target was really long and they don't have like a lot of food items there and I kind of wanted something. So we came to this one. Um, I got Robbie two bacon sandwiches. Let me make sure they gave us everything. Robbie got two bacon sandwiches. And I got some, and I got some groceries from them. You got some groceries? I got banana nut bread for Levi and I got myself, this is new I guess because I come here often, I've never seen it. Um, I know they make them at Dunkin Donuts. This is different though. This is called the Impossible Sausage. It's sausage, egg, and cheese, but it's plant-based sausage. Mom, mommy, see what's in there. You want to see mine? Yeah. It's a little bit sloppy. I might have to fix it. What kind of bread is that? This is like a seasoned bread. Ooh, hot. Hot? Hot. So here's what it looks like. Like I said, this is not real meat. It is plant-based meat. I have to sneeze. It smells like pepper and it's like making me want to sneeze. Okay, let's try a bite. No. I know what to do. I'll get a drink home. Yeah, I'll get a drink at home. You gonna drink your drink? Can I have a sip of it? Yeah. Can I have a drink, please? Yeah. Thanks, you're the best. You're my best little pumpkin. Yeah, your best pumpkin butt. My best pumpkin butt. Vanilla bean frappuccino with almond milk and no whipped cream. I get it for him like no, every time. That is mine. I know. And he barely ever drinks any of it. I barely drink some. 
You don't even drink half of it. I wish they made little kids ones. All right, take your drink so I can drive home. I'm sweating. I am out of breath. I'm in need of a break. Yesterday we had a really crazy windy thunderstorm, so I hurried and got all the patio cushions off the chairs outside and carried them in. And I carried the umbrella in just because it was so windy, but we're not gonna have any rain anymore for a while. So I just lugged everything back outside and then there was this huge spider outside. And I don't know, Robbie said it was just a wolf spider, but that thing was big and dark and hairy. So that had me <laughs> literally sweating because I can't even, I know it was outside and I, it was just literally sitting in one spot and I could have smacked it with the, I had like a fly swatter, but I just like picture like smacking it and it's guts like flying out on me. So I just like, I can't deal with big spiders like that. So I had to get him to come get it from me, for me. It was like right in front of the door. So I'm like sweating, not only from the spider, but from carrying all the patio furniture back outside. Um, been working on what we call the playroom. Um, I have this rug in here right now. I know it just looks silly in the middle of the floor. I wish I could find like one really big rug to kind of just fill the center of the floor. If not, I'm just gonna get like two of the same rugs. But Robbie's mom recently gave me that in case I wanted to switch it out for the living room rug, which I decided I didn't want to do. So. It's just in here for now, but yesterday I spent a little time cleaning. In this corner, there used to be a bunch of like rolled up carpet from when they changed the carpeting in the house and like random just junk that just didn't belong in here. Stuff that just belongs in the actual garage, which is on the other side of this wall. So I've been doing some organizing in here. So I've got these little cubicles with some of Levi's toys. Mind you, he still has a ton of toys in his room, but he just doesn't enjoy playing upstairs by himself unless someone's up there. I don't know, when we lived at the mobile home, we were all on one floor and like that's just, I don't know, he's not like, I wanna say he's not independent, but he is independent. I don't know, he just doesn't enjoy playing upstairs by himself, which is understandable, but um, anyhow, he mostly likes to play in here and usually he just ends up bringing toys into the living room, but hung up some book bags. Those coats have been in here, jackets. Um, I don't know, this was here when we moved in. I kind of just left it in here. I put some of his toys on in there. Um, puzzle in there, chalk, his beach book bag that's got all of his shovels and beach toys in there. Over here I organized some of his cars. These are all Hot Wheels. These are like bigger kind of cars and some monster trucks. Most of the monster trucks are upstairs, but these are just like bigger cars. Kind of the ones that do this, that pull back and go. These are all of his Disney cars, which is like the Cars movies. So these are all Lightning McQueen cars, Disney cars, whatever. Here's his two Mack trucks. Watch out, Sally. Then this is kind of like miscellaneous and his two little tool boxes that go to his tool bench. Um, got a random chair over there. Got oh, that thing over there. Got his John Deere tractor in here, which probably we need to put outside in the, uh, the real garage, along with that scooter, because I'm sick of him riding around the house. Still about to put those tiki torches in the backyard, don't know why. Um, I think I mentioned this before, but this isn't dirty. This is like chipped paint. It looks like they literally just painted the walls and painted the floor, so that's just scuffed. Um, got his punching bag here. Sully's cage is in here. I'm gonna move this over here into the corner. I just put that over there. Probably need to get the stroller into the real garage tractor and scooter. I don't know, we'll leave them in here for now. I took a lot of stuff to the garage already and really cleaned this up a lot, even though it doesn't look that cool in here, that fun in here, but I actually did a lot of work in here yesterday and it looks a lot better 
than it did. Like I said recently, we got this mirror hung up. I think I want the same exact mirror on this side. It just feels wrong to not have one on this side too. So I think I might end up getting another one. I don't know, it was like $45. Really don't wanna spend that another mirror on another mirror right now, but soon I think I'm going to. Don't drink too much. Yeah. And then as I'm doing house updates, I might as well show you a baby girl's room. Let's head in here. I've currently, or now I've got some curtains hanging up. I got some pink curtains from Meyer the other day. If you watched my previous vlog, you know that already. Yeah, babe, you can come in. Whose room is this? Not mine. Nope, whose is it? Hold that with two hands. Two hands, bug. That is baby's sister. And, and, and you gotta hang that with that. I know, I know. Got I'm to put those in there. Boop, boop, boop. You're silly. He always just comes and sits on the little rug. It's so cute. Might need to get a bigger one or another one. Anyhow, as you can see, got that I mattress over the there. Baby sister and I finally got a crib. I don't know why I'm saying fine, because I still have plenty of time to get a crib, but the okay. first crib I ever looked at online like a couple months ago, maybe a couple weeks ago, I don't know how long it was. Nah, probably like a month or two ago. I was looking at cribs online, and the first one I ever saw that like I was like completely in love with, um, someone was selling, and brand new in the I box. I saw the red beetle. Someone, Hold that with two hands. Hold it the right way. Someone was back walking back. Somebody was selling it brand new in the box and I don't know. I didn't get to purchase it in time, so I kind of just was like, all right, whatever. But it was literally the first crib. Wait, wait, not that man was walking back and down on my house. Not that man was walking I know, they know. I told them. I told them. You're so cute. Then the store bye-bye. Levi, why are you so cute? Anyhow, the first crib that I saw online that I was like, okay, that is literally the crib I want. And then I found someone what? selling it. What? Didn't end up getting to get it. But yesterday, I got the crib. Um, I think I might try to put it together here in a few. This is her bed. This is her bed. This is yeah. her bed. Oh, goodness. This was the water. On each side of like both ends this, of the crib, it's got this a gray pad. This like a I know it's like a ladder. I know it's got this like gray pad on both ends of the crib. I don't know. You'll see when I put it together. But I'm so excited. Um, it turns into a toddler bed, and um, it has like you can buy this little half bar that goes like halfway across the bed as like a guardrail. And I was definitely looking for a three-in-one or four-in-one. I can't remember what this is, but I'm I so excited. Okay, baby. Get your drink. We're gonna go out of here. Maybe we'll put Sissy's bed up in a few. We might need Daddy's help. Got some cubicles in here for organization. I've got some bed sheets what? and blankets what? in there. What? Something. Oh, what's that? Move line at? I moved everything out of here. Your chair? No, that. What? That, oh, that pink thing? Yeah, something was on top of this. What was up there? Uh, that was Guido up there. Guido, I put him in your toy room. I'm surprised you remember that. I put him in your toy room. Oh. Yep. Oh. There we go. All right, come on. And then I also over here have this mobile or whatever you want to call it. Um that hangs above the crib. I've got the other piece downstairs. I don't know if this is the one I'm gonna use. I'm either gonna use this gray one or I'm gonna get a new pink one. And then I've got these gray and white polka dot sheets.
All right, camera's crooked. I'm in the baby's room, the nursery, whatever you want to call it. I think I am going to try to put the crib together myself. Um, I'm just bored. I know it really doesn't need to be put together right now. I know I still have so much time. But I'm bored and it just feels really good to get things in order and just be prepared. And the sooner I'm prepared, the better I'm going to feel because I know like the next few months are just going to fly by and I'm just going to be more and more stressed because when I think in depth about the fact that I'm about to have another child, I get really stressed and overwhelmed even though I'm so excited, don't get me wrong. I'm so excited, but I just know it's going to be like really big changes. Anyways, my point is that um, the more I have done, the better I'll feel. That's like kind of the per type of person I am. So I'm just going to put the crib, crib together because it's just sitting in here anyways. So um, Robbie said he would help me, but he's not able to help me for a little bit. And I don't feel like waiting and I'm really bored and... I really don't need help. I feel like I could do anything by myself. So here's what it looks like put together. This is literally like my dream crib. Let me pull up the act. That's just a picture. Let me pull it back up on target. Kind of want to show you what it looks like, even though I'm about to put it together anyways. So here's what it looks like. If it focuses. See how it comes down, like it puts that little bar up and then it's kind of like a little toddler bed. And then that can come all the way off. Yeah, very excited. And it says right here, there's like a video of how to put it together, assembly instructions. So I'm just gonna do it myself. Open the curtains back up. Oof. Mommy, mommy, throw in the hair. Please, 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 put me in there. I don't know if you're too big to go in there. No, I not put me in the hair. Let me show the crib first. And I so this go. is where I put it for now. This isn't gonna go there. I'm probably gonna have a changing table right and here. And you will see this right. Yeah, and we'll get to see this gray. I wanted to make sure we were able to see that. It's my and favorite part of the whole crib. We'll see this gray. No, we can't see that one, but it's okay. Um, I just throw okay. this through this. <laughs> I, I think saw it's called that. A mobile. A mobile? I don't know. I threw this on there for now. Don't know. Please, I, I mean, I guess I'll probably just keep that one. Ain't Please. no reason. 
to buy another. Please. Don't climb on there. <laughs> Listen to the way he says please. Say it again. Please. Keep saying it. Please, please, please. Don't. Please, please, please. He really what wants to go in there. I don't know if, I think you might be too big. No. I'm one just... time, just one time. And sit, sit. There you go. <laughs> He's in there. I too big. I mean, this bed's for little tiny babies. Mm. You're kind of too big for it, baby. I'm not. You are though. No. Lay down, go night night. Go ahead. I don't know if this is exactly where it's gonna go. I don't really know. It's kind of a good spot. I had it centered on this wall right here. I don't know where I'm gonna end up putting it. Maybe I'll put it over here. Truly, I really don't know. It's probably gonna stay over here, but probably keep it where it is and put a changing table right there. Doesn't matter, we still have time, but I got the crib up, so at least I don't have to worry about doing that. You goober. <laughs> I can't even lie, I'm like exhausted from putting that crib up and my back is hurting. I already have back issues to begin with, so that like really hurt my back. Um, I should have just waited so that Robbie could help me, but I like want things done the moment I want them done, so did it myself. <laughs> she didn't need to, but I had nothing better to do, so whatever. But I'm relaxing now. Um, I'm like so tired. I feel so tired right now. I've been waking up at like 4 a.m. lately. I've been going to sleep at like 1 a.m. or later for some reason. And then I wake up at 4 a.m. and I'm like wide awake for a while. And then last night a picture fell off my wall in my bedroom at like 4 a.m. And I was like creeped out and couldn't fall back asleep for hours. So I'm really tired right now. But I am definitely ending this vlog right now. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to sub sub. <laughs> I'm too tired. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And stay tuned in for our future videos. Peace.